It started in Wazulu Natal. A Peter Marisberg family has laid to rest six family members. They were swept away in the devastating Wazulu Natal floods. Four other members of the Mzalose family are still missing. For more on this, let me take you to ENCA's Letiwe Mzuli, who is uh, on standby with uh, an update for us. So, Letiwe, just from watching the funeral service, it was it was too painful to watch um, you know you know you've got to take it all in because it's part of the journey uh, that we've traversed uh, as a nation and the family has traversed since this incident happened but it's unbearable just tell me through uh, take me through uh, the service itself well, Tula Sizwe, it's been a very emotional day for the Mlalose and Kabashe family. Uh, we've been here since the morning and we've seen their emotions. Uh, they're quite high. We started off with a funeral service that was held not so far from here. Uh, we are in Sweet Waters, the family home of the Mlalose family. They were, of course, um, washed away by the floods back in Inanda in Durban. They are from Umzinyati, but their homestead is here in Sweet Waters. During the funeral service, um, we saw family members arriving along with hundreds of community members who are devastated about this loss. Majority of the people that were being laid to rest today were children and the um, main member, their mother and also grandmother, um, was among them who was being laid to rest today. We've spoken to the family and they are saying they're devastated. They still can't get over the trauma of losing so many family members all at once. You'd remember that four of the Mlalosa family members are still missing and the family is saying while they lay their loved ones today, those six loved ones, um, it's still quite hard to not think about the other four family members that are still out there um, that are, they are still searching for. And um, when, when we spoke to one of the family members, Linda Kabashe, he did explain that the trauma has taken its toll on the family and they are requesting counselling as a family because they don't know how they will get over this. While we spoke to him a bit earlier on, this is what he shared with us. Sibhungu <laughs> So there was a lot of magnanimity in as far as the family is concerned, Letiwe, about the collaboration and the work with government, non-governmental uh, organizations, really uh, gratitude being shown on their part uh, that they, they've received um, that kind of support. You also had the chance to speak to the Premier of the province. What has he been saying? Well, the Premier, along with other authorities, were in attendance at the funeral and they did make assurances to the family that search and rescue operations will continue, um, just giving comfort to the family, saying that they will continue looking for their loved ones. It's not only the Mlalose family that is still looking for their loved ones, of course. Um, close to 60 people still remain missing. Majority of them are in Umzinyati, in Nanda, and also in Makobeni. Um, but they have given assurances to the families that they will continue with those search and rescue operations. Um, I think I also want to touch on the fact that the family has um, also asked the public not to share gruesome videos um, of the day they lost their loved ones. Um, Linda also shared how he was sent a video um, from one of the community members in Inanda who shared a video of how his family lost their home and how they were washed away. And the, that gruesomeness, he says he can't get over those images. So he has pleaded with the public to stop sharing those videos as they are quite traumatizing for the family. They are, of course, still dealing with this. Um, this um, I, I don't know how to put it, but um, this is what they're saying. They're, they're pleading with the communities to not share those gruesome videos. But what, when I was speaking to the Premier a bit earlier on, this is what he had to say about search and rescue operations. Right now, we have just been 
paying our respect and a send-off to six members of the family. When we visited the area on the 13th of Feb of, of, of the month, of this month, we found the family, and at that time, they had only uh, managed to recover four bodies. Up to now, through the search and rescue team, we managed to get other two bodies. Hence, they were buried, or they are being buried today. We will continue to work with the community of uh, Umzinyati on search uh, and rescue, looking for the remaining four bodies. It is quite a traumatic situation. It is painful, painful to the family, but we wish them strength. It is not only this family that have uh, missing people. There are other families that also are still looking for their loved ones who went missing during this period of disaster. And of course, let you part of the reason why this funeral was taking place today is that over the last two and a half to three weeks, it's been difficult um, to actually hold funerals in some instances, in some instances, in the wake of the devastation that we saw uh, due to the, to the floods. Um, and now we're getting a sense that some families are starting uh, to be able to bury their loved ones. And this, this family also only being able to bury um, the people whose bodies have been found, but also still left with you know, significant question marks as to where the whereabouts of the other people uh, that, that they've lost to the flooding. Just tell me, give me an overall picture of that, uh, those processes towards ensuring that the victims of the floods, um, those whose bodies have been found, the funerals start uh, taking place in earnest. Well, so let's say it's quite a difficult one because over the past week um, we have been speaking to various families that are still looking or searching for their loved ones. And what they are saying is that when they go to mortuaries to identify um, those bodies that have been found on a daily basis, um, it's quite hard to make out if it's that missing family member or not. And because that's because um, it's been three weeks since the floods. And because of that, um, the bodies are decomposing. And now they is a process of the DNA that, that, that needs to take place. And of course, there's a backlog um, when it comes to that because there's a lot of bodies that are found um, each and every day. So that process of trying to bury your loved ones um, while others are still searching and also while the DNA is still being taken, um, it's quite a difficult one. We have speak, spoken to various family members of, over the past week who are saying that they are quite... Um, upset that they haven't been able to lay their loved ones to rest but of course we this process of burying their loved ones is also another issue because a lot of um, uh, um, cemeteries were affected by the floods uh, we saw some of those um, uh, um, uh, cemeteries being washed away and government has been assisting in, re in, 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 in giving families money to bury their loved ones but of course it's going to take a while for some family members to get over and also lay their loved ones to rest. With the Mjalosa family, those four family members have not been found. Um, once they are found, I'm quite certain that a DNA test will have to be uh, conducted for them to identify that those people are exactly their family members. And that, of course, is going to take some time. Remember, there's close to 60 people that still remain missing in the province. And all those people now that are being found, you can't identify them because they are decomposing. So it's going to take a while for these families to have their funerals and to find um, closure as well. Yeah. All right. Thank you for that. The grief is profound uh, and it's just compounded by the fact that it is staggered because, you know, you can't even re really begin to talk about closure uh, when there are still bodies that have not uh, been found yet. Uh, live for us from Sweetwaters in the area of Peter Marisberg, that's ENCA's Letiwem Julie there with an update on that funeral uh, that has taken place today.